So, a special event was announced today in New York City, and that was that Nintendo announced a follow-up to its Wii console. It will be available Sunday, November 18th. Now, first and foremost, you want to know, why do I need to get a new Wii? Can it play my old Wii games? Well, Nintendo did make it backwards compatible with all its games, and as far as we know, all of the controllers. Months and maybe a year ago, it was said that only the Motion Plus controllers will work with the Wii. Maybe Nintendo decided to go against that and rectify that mistake. Sadly, I went ahead and got Motion Plus adapters for my controllers anyway. But anyway, they finally announced what rumors had speculated. And that was that there will be various versions of this system. And by various, I mean two. At least at launch, you'll have a 299 model and a 349 model. Now, reasonably so, Nintendo said, hey, we're kind of playing catch-up. We can't afford to price a system astronomically higher than what's already out there. That was a smart decision. However, here's where my problems come in. Okay, 299, 300, that's... You, you could say that's fair, considering that a PS3 is around that price, and you're getting a tablet and all these extra goodies. I mean, it's Mario, Zelda, DK, everything that you want. So you're going to shell out that extra 100 right? Mm, I don't know. I was recently burned with the whole Nintendo 3DS debacle. You know, the XL came out, and it was like, holy cow, this is what the system should have been at launch. Will I be waiting in line 10 hours like I did for the Wii, for the Wii U? I'm not so sure. Here, here's why. $299 for the base model. Base model is only 8 gigs. And that's what was said months ago in other magazines. And not too many people were keen on that. And that's the white version. The black version, which is the more expensive model, is going to have 32 gigabytes of memory. Now that's a you know, drastic leap there. Four times as much space for a hundred dollars more. Now you say, okay, other yellow hat guy, why would I only want 32 gigs when the current systems have, you know, up to 160, 120, whatever? Well, you know, look at the slim for the 360. That's got four gigs at a base model, right? This isn't the same system we're talking about. I mean, this is Nintendo. This is a brand new console coming out. Why 32 gigs? Well, from what I hear, it's a solid-state drive, and that's a big difference, is it not? I don't know. It still seems like a small amount of space, solid-state or not, to me. I mean, maybe a, a 1 needs to be put in front of that 32 or something. <laughs> yeah, or just make it a 150 gig or something, 160, I don't know. Anywho, I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. I mean, there's got to be a Mario release date to even pique my interest. Fanboys are crying foul already. I'm not sure I'm ready to jump on that train just yet. I've got to wait and see more. But uh, I'm, I am pleased that they're getting this system announced and on shelves very quickly, as they don't have much time before Microsoft announced their 720 or whatever the hell it is, and it gets all you Call of Duty fanboys and Halo guys, you know, jumping ship again. So, uh, I'm slightly impressed and slightly disappointed, but uh, we'll just see what happens. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, and thanks for watching.